So you want to import data from your scenes in Blender into After Effects. Let's get it done. I will also show you in After Effects how to use 3D tracking with 2D layers. So in Blender right here, I have my satellite scene. So first thing is we're gonna go to Edit, Preferences. We're gonna go to Testing. And then after testing, you're gonna type in After Effects here and you're gonna enable this. Import export after effects.jsx, X that out. Then you're gonna select what we need to export. In this case, we wanna select our camera and also this middle cylinder right here. Oop, there you go. I don't want that dummy object, so I'll do that again. Camera, shift, click in the cylinders, perfect. Next, we're gonna go to File, Export, and you'll see After Effects.jsx. Click that, save that into whatever folder you want, and make sure all of this is selected and hit Export to After Effects. I've already done it, so I'm gonna cancel. Okay, so I'm in After Effects, and I went ahead and exported out an animation of my satellite. Then we're gonna go to File, we're gonna to go to scripts, run script file, and you're gonna select wherever you saved that .jsx and then double click it. This is what's gonna name the composition. So I've already done this, so I'll just make this underscore with three, but you can name it anything you want. Hit okay. We're gonna go into project and you'll see blend comp 03, so we just created. And you'll see that we have our camera and the cylinder is a null. So you'll see as that goes through. It's exactly our scene. We're gonna copy both of those, control C, back to my satellite composition, control V. Perfect, so you'll see that the null is now stuck on that satellite and it's following perfectly with all our camera data and everything. So what I wanna do is I wanna add glow to this little light on the satellite, this little blinking light that I have. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go to layer, new, adjustment layer. I'm going to add something called deep glow. It's a third party plugin, it's absolutely great. Okay, perfect, and this does not look very good. So I'll go down to my layer it's on, rename that, hit enter, rename it glow, hit enter again. Okay, so we're gonna go and I'm gonna change some of these settings, make the radius 35. This is also physically accurate, meaning that the fall off follows the inverse square law, so that's always good. Keep this at one, I'm gonna make my threshold 74. And I'm gonna turn on smooth blending. I'm pretty sure the update this does not have smooth blending. It's on my default. Perfect. And then I wanna make a mask. So I'll go up to my mask. Let's do an ellipse and let's drag that over. Perfect. So next we wanna animate this mask so it follows our satellite. I'm actually gonna make this mask a little bit smaller. So I will go hit V, double click, and I'm gonna make this just a smidgen smaller. So it's just on our satellite. Perfect, I think right there is perfect. So next I wanna now track this layer so it follows the satellite, because right now I won't do it. The black is just the glow layer that we did the effect, because nothing's there and I don't have it unmolded, which we don't wanna do. So how we're gonna track it is this is 3D data, our cylinder right here, which you can see, the little 3D icon, and our glow is a 2D layer. So if we were just to parent this over to our 3D layer, it wouldn't really work because it's only 2D data and that's 3D data. So we're gonna have to use an expression. Let me copy it from my clipboard real quick. Okay, so click the glow layer, hit P for position. You're going to all click the stopwatch and you're gonna paste in this expression and we're about to change this layer name. So this is the layer, the cylinder, that's this object right here. I'm gonna enter, control C for copy, go back to this expression and keep the parentheses versus layer name, paste that in there. Perfect, so now, it jumped over here, but you'll see it tracks it perfectly. It just jumped over. We'll just click our mask again, double click, and let's bring it over, line it up, and you'll see that now it follows the satellite. It's a blinking light, that's why it's going away there. But the one thing is though, is this is, we're taking 3D data and we're turning into 2D data, and the satellite actually rotates, and the 2D information is not gonna get that rotation, so it'll become a little bit off. So it's okay, because we'll fix that by just adding some quick keyframes. I'm gonna hit M, I'll bring up mass path, stopwatch there, and then I'll go to the end. The satellite rotates, it gets off. So you can see right there how off it is. I'll go back to the light comes on, right there, and we'll move it. Perfect. And that's only one off just because they said there's no 3D rotation being applied to the 2D layer. So now it will perfectly follow our satellite. 
If you liked this video, smash the like button, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button twice, and I'll see you around.